Hey everybody, this is Verna from Stampin' Notes and welcome to Wednesday um, Farm Fresh Cards. So today I'm bringing you a little bit of uh, our Meadow Life today, a but pretty butterfly card. And it's going to feature some of the silver and gold 6x6 designer series paper. And this paper is one of the free celebration items. And celebration goes until the end of August. And um, it's right on page 10 in the small little catalog. It's free with a $50 order, and it either has silver um, lines or dots or gold lines or gold dots, and it's really versatile. Um, you can do a lot with it. You can color it. And so I'm just getting my computer up here so I can see if there are any comments. And thanks for joining me today. Okay, here we go. Um, so I have okay. used, there we go. Um, I have used that paper here. I used the gold paper. And I used it on the flap here, the stripes. And I used my um, blending brush to color it with the different colors. So let me show you how to make this card. And, uh... Oh, well, before I get started on that, I also want to let you know about my August uh, Sweet Notes Card Club. And it features the Hello Harvest stamp set and bundle. And you will get all of the pre, everything will be die cut for you. These are embossed um, to make four beautiful cards. You'll just need stamps and ink. And it includes about $24 worth of free products. It will be a, a half a pack of the Harvest Designer Series paper. Um, it will be a spool of ribbon, and it will be the beautiful pack of the fall leaves and these amber gems. And there's one of the leaves. And I have not stamped the inside of this yet because I don't know what I want it to be. But anyways, um, and it's $42 and includes priority shipping. It includes a PDF tutorial and a video tutorial. So a great deal and the registration ends soon for that. So if you're interested, let me know or you can email me at vernastamps at gmail.com and we can go from there. Okay, so this card that I just showed you made with a silver and gold designer series paper paper right here um, is the gold version and today um, I'm going to show you how to make the silver version of this um, and so I have a piece of the silver and gold designer series paper with the polka dots on it um, I know I had a piece here there's this is for the envelope flap and this is three and a quarter by five and a half, so it goes the whole length of the card front, and it is right here. So that's three and a quarter by five and a half, and the first thing we're gonna do is color it with blending brushes. And I'm gonna grab a piece of scrap paper for that. Here we go. And the colors I'm going to use are Polished Pink, um, Coastal Cabana, and Granny Apple Green. And I'm going to start with the Granny Apple Green at the bottom. Well, I think I will start with Coastal Cabana at the bottom. And I'm bringing in my blending brush. And when you're using a blending brush, what you want to do is you want to start um, off of the paper on a piece of scrap because it will be darker where you first um, start on your paper with it, where you first start blending. And it might be too dark. So that's why you wanna start, especially if your ink pad is really juicy, um, it may be too dark. So we are and actually it feels like I need to re-ink this. You can see, we can still see the silver dots, and if you're hearing weird noises, it's my um, 
son's dog, Bo. He's a little French um, bulldog, and he is grunting and snorting, and he might be scratching the carpet. So that is Bo. All right, so there's our Coastal Cabana. We're going to come in with a Granny Apple Green. And I'm gonna do the middle section here. Just like that. And this will give it a nice ombre look. Also, if you order with me this week, by Friday at midnight, that would be August 12th. Um, and you use this host code here at checkout, TUIF6GF7, um, I will send you, and it's a 35, at least a $35 order, I will send you the kit to make the three cards that I created during my Facebook Live on Monday evening, and I'll show you those cards in a minute here. Okay, now in the end, we're going to do the polished pink right here. Oh, the blending brushes are nice because you can wash them. They, um, and it'll wash, this is a water-based ink. It will wash, it may leave, um, it will leave a stain of the color, but you can wash them out and let them dry and reuse them. They come in a pack of five. And if you want to order any of the supplies for the, the, these cards, then I will put a link in the comments to my online shop. It's been a beautiful day here today. I was had to take my mom to Corning, New York for an appointment today, and we got to get out and about and enjoy the lovely weather. It's less humid than it's been. Okay, so that is a pretty color combination. Polished pink, granny apple green, and coastal cabana. I'm gonna take this away. Now I am using um, a piece of, you know what, this is three by five and a half, and the basic black behind it is three and a quarter um, by five and a half. So we're gonna layer this on here like this. I'm going to grab my glue and I'm using the Tombow liquid glue. I am just put it in a different glue bottle. I really like the tip on this bottle because um, it just lets a tiny bit of glue out and I got this on Amazon. Okay, so we're going to center this on the basic black that's three and a quarter by five and a half. Just like that. And this is going to be centered on our card base and it is polished pink. I forgot to bring my foam folder over, so I'm just going to give that a good press like that. Now, do we want the pink? I think we want the pink at the top, like that. This is also a great time to join celebration, join um, during celebration, because there's um, if you buy the starter kit, which is uh, $99, it's only $99, but you get to pick $125 worth of product, um, whatever product you want, then there's also a free beautiful planner with um, notebooks. It is gorgeous. It has flowers, floral images on it, and my card base is crooked. I'm going to have to fix that. Okay, it's going to
gonna drive me nuts. Maybe it's because I didn't use the bone holder. Aha. Okay, and this needs to come over a little bit. And I didn't put the pink at the top. Oh, wow. Well. If I can pull this over still. Okay. All right. I'm going to wipe my fingers that have ink on them. So I'm going to bring in my mini Stampin' Cotton Emboss machine to do some die cutting. And this is a little mini. It's cute. It folds up like this. And this could be part of your starter kit. If you wanted to make get it and make it part of your starter kit. And if you get the starter kit, then you get a discount on the products that you purchase. All right. And then we're going to put this base plate in. The base plate, when they're new, it shows you what plates to use for different things that you're doing. And I have a piece of black cardstock here. And I'm going to be using the... Butterfly Brilliant Wings dies. It comes with a whole bunch of butterflies shapes in it. And there's a Brilliant Wings dies. And it comes with this one huge uh, metal piece that die cuts out all the solid images. So it coordinates with our beautiful butterfly stamp set. And if you stamp the butterfly, then you can die cut it out that way. So I'm gonna use these two dies here and you can see they're pretty detailed. Excuse the phone shaking. I'm trying to go careful so it doesn't shake too much, but I think I might as well just get it rolling. Okay. So let's see our little detailed butterflies here. And that one doesn't want to come out. So what I'm going to do is re run that through again. This one doesn't want to come off. There we go. We'll get those little pieces off there. I'm going to leave that back on there make my sandwich, grab my die, and it's the little antennas there that don't want to come out, and hopefully it won't, hopefully I can get it on here right. We'll do this again and then back. Okay, there we go. Both snoring away. Okay, now I'm going to take my Actually, this isn't the take your pick tool. This is um one that they used to sell 
before that came out and I cannot find my take your pick tool. I can't find my paper snips. So I don't know. I'm hoping they show up. I may have put them somewhere where I would remember where they are. And then did not remember. Um, there's also a brush that you can get to brush these out, and I don't have that. I need to get that. Let's see, what else is going on on the farm right now? We just did straw. Um, we're gonna pick some sweet corn for supper tonight. We had fresh potatoes from the garden. We've had zucchini, which I love to fry. Fresh tomatoes and my son's tomatoes were are actually an orange variety. He didn't know they were gonna be orange, but they're they taste like a tomato. If you didn't look at them, you'd think it was a red tomato that you were eating. Okay, so what I should have done probably was to pre-do these so they didn't take so much time to punch out the little pieces, but is what it is. Okay, so that's pretty good there. And we'll get these. We'll put this back. And now the small one. I would like to freeze sweet corn. Anybody out there do that? It just tastes so good in the winter when you pull it out of the freezer and it's a treat to, to eat. We usually, I would usually do like a bushel at a time and if my husband helped me husk it, then it would go a lot faster and blanch it for like three minutes in boiling water and then put it in a, either a sink or a large bowl full of ice water and shock it and then cut the corn off the ear with, I usually use a electric knife. All right, we got those. Okay, so I'm going to put these um, on a pink backing. Let's see if we can find. I was going to do silver on it, but I think I'll do, I think the black will be pretty on this one. And let's see if we can find this little guy. It doesn't go on that one. Okay, I saved these from another time. All right, so let's, I'm gonna bring in my adhesive here. And just stab it on the back and in the larger areas. Okay, 
That is Bo. Someone is dreaming over there. He loves to go outside and chase the rabbits in our yard. He can never catch them. And it's fun to watch. And then he comes back and he is all out of breath. Okay. And this one we're going to put on this one. Oh, I forgot. This really isn't the right one for this one. Well, let's see if we can make it work. And I'm going to snip off these little pink antenna things that are sticking up. Got ink on my, or glue on my fingers. Okay. Let's see if we can cut these without cutting our other antennas. Okay, so that just gives it a little background there. All right, now I'm pairing this up with the Sending Smiles stamp set and the Sending Dies. And this is a stamp set right here. It's a great hunt, one to have. It has all these sentiments that go with sending, like smiles across the miles, sending a card to say hello, sending comfort and strength, and it has the beautiful flowers. And the, the die that I'm gonna use is this one. I've already die cut the background from um, Basic Black right here. And we'll set these aside. And I'm going to bring in a piece of foil and bring my mini back up. Um, before I do that, I'm going to use an adhesive sheet on this back of this foil. So these are awesome to use, especially um, when you have intricate detailed dies. I'm just going to cut off about this much. Mom. I thought you would be resting right now. Okay, so I'm going to peel this off like this. And this is the adhesive sheets are in the back of the catalog, and I'm putting it on the back of the silver foil here. Okay. And we're going to run it through the embossing machine. <clears throat> and I've got this end with that on it. We'll put that there. We'll put our sending right here. And I'm going to go back and forth a couple times because the foil is a little bit extra heavy. And I'm going to push it back through this way. So what's nice about using the adhesive sheet is that there's adhesive on the back. It's all ready for you to use to adhere your die cut onto your card or whatever you're adhering it to. And as I said, it's especially nice for intricate um, die cuts that are hard to glue down. And I'm just pushing this out Okay, so I've got that sending out of there. And 
And then I just have to peel this backing off this. And I can put this right on this black uh, background. If you have trouble getting it started, you can bring in something pointy like that piercing tool that I just had. And once you get it started, it just peels. Just like that. Okay, and I'm gonna put this back in shape here a little bit. And then this is all sticky on the back. And we're just gonna press this onto the background like this. As we go across there, and then we have that beautiful word intricately die cut on there. So I'm gonna bring my card front back in and I'm gonna place this in the middle going on a slant like that. And put some glue on the back of this. I could have used an adhesive sheet on this, but I try to save it for things that are really intricate, okay? And then butterflies, what should we do with the butterflies? Here they are. So um, I'm gonna put one this way and one probably up here like this. And I think it would have been, I really would have loved it with a silver. In fact, I might even change that right now. Um, nope, I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna die cut the silver out. So I'm gonna bring in silver butterflies. I'm gonna bring this back in. I've already got um, part of an adhesive sheet on here. Let's see, I know I can fit the smaller butterfly on here. Let's see if the larger one will fit. And you wanna make sure your adhesive is on the back side or down. Yeah, I think they'll both fit on here. That can go there and this one can go there. That way they'll be really easy to adhere. You gotta get this plate with that like that. It would help if I had it in the right order here. Okay, this goes here. Little butterfly there, larger butterfly here. Just like that. And top plate. Okay. Now I'm gonna run this back and forth a couple times because that foil is thick, thicker than designer series paper or cardstock. out. I'm going to poke some of these out right here. Of 
pull this off our butterfly die. We do have a few monarchs around here and we do have milkweed growing. So uh, one of my granddaughters, Olivia, knows all about butterflies. And I didn't know that there was like, you can tell the difference between the male and female monarch because of the dots. The male has dots at the bottom of the wings and the female does not, which I did not know. And she knows all about the chrysalis and everything that takes place. I hear my little friend walking on the... <laughs> Moving his little paws. So where our home is used to be a sheep pasture and we it's actually in a meadow and so on Monday night we have simply stamping in the meadow and we used to have a sheep named Freckles and she was like the leader whatever she did all the lambs or the the younger sheep would do and she would be up here in this pasture and I would come up. We lived at the farmhouse then and um, call the sheep and they would come and they love graham crackers. We would bring graham crackers to them. But freckles would, uh, when they were down at the barn, they would run and eat the feed out of the calves the calves had little hutches they lived in outside the barn and she would go from calf hutch to calf hutch and they would get into the feed and then it's not good for sheep because they eat too much and then they get sick. And she was kind of a troublemaker. Hey, Margaret. So anyways, but she was a really, she was an orphan lamb that um, we raised from a bottle. And then sometimes when you pull this backing off, then some of that extra stuff that we're trying to poke out of there comes off. All right, so this butterfly is going to go down at the bottom here like that. And we got one more to do here. Yeah, it's much. This is much prettier with the silver butterflies rather than black. And if you use the adhesive sheets, you can see how much easier it is to um, adhere them. I used to use a dryer sheet when I was die cutting intricate things like this, and it would pull off most of the little pieces that you don't want. Margaret, thank you for sharing. I really appreciate that. If you're watching, just comment and say hi. Tell me where you're from. We're almost done with this. And we'll take the backing off and finish the inside of our card.
We are having another Stampin' in the Valley event at the Canisteo American Legion, August 25th from 6.30 to 8.30. It's a lot of fun. You make six cards, um, two of each of three different designs, and it is $20 or free with a $25 purchase that night. So come on out and have some fun. If you're interested in that, you can email me at vernastamps at gmail.com. And if you are coming, let me know. That way I can have an idea of how much to prepare. We had a lot of fun last month. Okay, so we've got our butterflies on here. Um, this is our gold one right here, and I'm going to do, um, let's do the inside of the card and then we'll finish the front. So we need a piece of card stock that's five and a quarter by four. I'm going to grab that. So I'm showing how to use the silver and gold designer series paper that's free during celebration. And I just um, put color on this with our blending brush. So we're gonna do sending, and I'm gonna use um, the polish pink. And we're gonna do birthday wishes. I hope this is centered. I'm gonna to have to stand up to see. Sending birthday wishes. And we're gonna do our stem. Margaret, this is the, the sending. I'm using the sending smiles and with the, the this is in the annual catalog with um, the ascending dies, and then also the butterfly, butterfly brilliance dies, and they're also in the annual catalog. But the flower and the sentiments are from the ascending stamp set. There's the base of our flower. And then we'll do the pink for the flower head. right about there. Isn't that pretty? Pretty cone flower. And there's a center stamp. And I'm using Daffodil Delight for this. And that is the dog that you're hearing snoozing away on the floor. Oh, you've been doing Copic coloring. I would love to see that. I am sure it is beautiful. Whatever you do is beautiful, Margaret. Okay, so there's, we're gonna add some gems on our butterflies. And how about, if I want the darker blue or I think the lighter. These are the fine sparkle adhesive backed gems. We'll just put two there and maybe one up here on this one. And then the last thing to do is we're gonna do our envelope and I'm gonna do 
a hot pink or polished pink. And we're using the stripe pattern on this paper, which is free. I've seen people color this in, color the stripes in different colors, which is kind of cool. Now I'm not worrying so much about getting a dark, darker blobby look on the bottom. I kind of like that. This is gonna be the bottom of my flap. Okay, and we're just gonna go right up the flap like this. All right. We're gonna grab our envelope. And I'm just gonna lay it open like this. I'm bringing in my glue. I'm just gonna put glue around the edge here, all the way around the edge of the flap, like this. Then I'm gonna bring my paper in that I used the blending brush on and lay it on there. We're gonna turn it over and take scissors and just go around the edge of the flap like this. Try to move your paper instead of your scissors on the corners. You'll get a smoother cut. Okay. So we've got two pretty cards here. We've got the one in the pinks, um, pink and silver ba basically, and then we have the one with the gold and the, this is pumpkin pie color, green and might be pool party there. And there's that flap. So I hope you've enjoyed this and I will see you Monday night. Take care.